In this part, I show you how to calculate some of the descriptive statistics using a special data analysis feature. And this is a much quicker way of doing some of these. But first we need to check that this has been enabled on your machine. It's also good to know how to do this at home too. So first we're going to click on File. Then at the bottom of the green bar on the left hand side, click on Options. This will open a new dialog box. Click on Add-ins, highlight Analysis Tool Pack, and then click Go. If Analysis Tool Pack is already ticked as such, you can just exit out and continue on. Otherwise, if it isn't, make sure this is ticked and click OK. To check that this is work, let's use the tabs at the top, go to Data, and there should be an extra tab on the far hand side, either labeled as data analysis or when highlighted like this, pops up with data analysis tools, depending on how large your bar is scaled at the top. So let's do this now. Let's click on data analysis tools. This opens up a new window. Let's highlight descriptive statistics and click OK. In the next window we need to select the data we want to analyze. As before, this is C2 to C12. So we can click in the white box and drag down and highlight these data cells. Now we want to make sure that we output the range in our current worksheet and let's fix this to H1 in this instance and we actually want to make sure we output some statistics that we're interested in so for the moment we're just going to tick summary statistics here note that if we had selected C1 to C12 instead of C2 to C12 we would need to tick labels in first row but th in this instance we're not going to do that once we have done this click OK this output includes mean, median, mode, standard deviation, the sample variance, and there are also other outputs in here too, for example kurtosis and skewness, which we'll go into in much more detail in later laters. Other simple descriptors such as range, max, min and count, the number of data points, are included. Note this doesn't output coefficient of variation or interquartile range, but these are easy enough to do on their own, while z-scorer is easy enough to to calculate on, on their own as well. So this ends the lead through part of the session. If you've finished all this and you still have time to spare, well done indeed. At the beginning of the practical you'll have downloaded a series of other data sets um, as different text files containing different data sets. Import the data for your guesses of how old I am, the file called lecture age guesses percentage or with underscores lecture underscore age underscore guesses underscore percentage and assess the following uh, statistical measures using the techniques that you have just learned to so calculate the mode, median, mean, Q1, Q3, the interquartile range, the standard deviation, the variance and the coefficient of variation. Note these down on a notepad or use the worksheet that is on Mole to work through these. And comment on the differences between my own and your guesses. If you still have time left, now import the raw data for the age guesses. This is file lecture underscore age underscore guesses underscore raw. This is all of your guesses from the lecture. Note this time the units are age instead of percentage. Perform the same statistical analysis. The mode, median, mean, Q1, Q3, interquartile range, standard deviation, variation, and coefficient of variation. Comment on the rows, on the results. What do you think the standard deviation shows? What do you think the, the coefficient of variation shows? So in summary, today we learned a basic grounding in the use of Excel and the performing of descriptive statistics. The next practical will be much less of click this and click that. We will begin to interrogate and investigate data sets that you have generated in much more detail by generating graphs and looking at data distributions. 
you have been given the grounding to calculate descriptive statistics at will. If you are asked to calculate a Z-score, you should now know how. Thank you very much for attending, and I will see you all soon.